back with another video on fun math okay today as you can see we are going to discuss about trigonometry about double angles and half angles formula for them first let's start by what we learned in previous videos in previous videos we learned three basic formula those are sin a plus b which is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and cos a plus b which is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and tan a plus b which is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b okay we have learned so many other formula right but these are basic formula we can derive any formula based on these just by learning these okay now we revised the previous formula now let's discuss about our concept double angles and half angles first let's start by double angles how can we derive formula for double angles double angles mean nothing but if there is an angle and we have doubled that angle and we should derive the formula for that based on the ratios trigonometric ratios of the normal angle means before doubling that for example let's see sin 2a how can we prove formula for double angles Okay, we can just take 2a as a plus a. 2a means a plus a, right? Now we can use the formula of sin a plus b. Then what would we get? We'll get sin a cos a plus cos a sin a. Here a is equal to b. I mean there is no b. B is also a. So here if you observe carefully, sin a cos a. Here also it is sin a cos a, right? Cos a sin a or sin a cos a, both are same. So you can write that like 2 sin a cos a. This is the formula for sin 2a. Okay, now let's discuss formula for cos 2a. The another thing to mention is that cos 2a, you can find the value of cos 2a in three different ways. Let's see. As you can see here, there are three boxes. These three of them are the formula. Cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or 1 minus 2 sin square a or cos square a minus 1. Let's see what are them and how can we derive that in three ways. First, cos 2a means cos a plus cos a as before on as always. And we should substitute a in place of b also, right? Then it become cos a into cos a minus sin a into sin a. Hence cos a into cos a is nothing but cos square a minus sin square a. We got the first formula. And how to derive the second formula? Okay, we know there is a formula in trigonometry, basic trigonometric identity that is sine sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, right? Means cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. We are using the same formula here. Cos square a means 1 minus sine square a. So I will get 1 minus sine square a and the second sine square a. So it becomes 1 minus 2 sin square a. This is how we can prove the second formula. How can we prove the second formula? You may have understood this till now. That is, we will just substitute 1 minus cos square a in place of sin square a. You will get 1 minus 2 into 1 minus cos square a. Multiply with minus, negative 2. It will become 1 minus 2 plus cos square alpha. 1 minus 2 means minus 1, right? If we keep minus 1 in the beginning, it is not nice. So, if we should keep that in the corner. Then it will become cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. Now, let's see how to derive tan 2a. It is also easy. Tan 2a. As you can see, this is how to derive the formula for tan 2a. It is very simple one. Tan 2a means it is tan a plus a. Substitute a in place of b also. It becomes tan a plus tan a by 1 minus tan a into tan a. Tan a into tan a means tan square a. Tan a plus tan a means it is 2 tan a. So tan 2 a is nothing but 2 tan a by 1 minus tan square a. Okay, if you want, you can simplify that more. If you send tan theta to the down, it becomes 2 by 1 by tan theta means it is cot theta minus tan theta. But let's leave it like this. It's nice to see, right? Now let's discuss half angles. Okay, you may ask why I haven't proved secant 2a, cosecant 2a, all those formulae. 
secant to a you can get by reversing this sine to a cosecant to a you can get by reversing the cos to a so let's say half angles half angles how can we derive the formula for half angles think of it on your own okay if you ask me it is simple if we observe the cos to a formula correctly or neatly then what will we understand cos to a means it is 1 minus 2 sin square a means we have 2 a in the LHS but in RHS we have just a term what will happen if we substitute 2 a with a replace 2 a with a then a will become theta by 2 right then we will get formula for sin theta by, theta by 2 let's see cos theta will become 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 right now what can we do send sin square theta by 2 sin square theta by 2 to LHS and cos theta to the RHS it becomes 2 sin square theta by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos theta now we just need sin theta by 2 right send 2 and send square to the other side or divide by 2 on both sides and square on both sides square root on both sides then you will get sin square theta by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 2 therefore sin theta by 2 is nothing but square root of 1 minus cos theta by 2 it is somewhat interesting right we want formula for sin theta by 2 but we got that in terms of cos theta now let's see how to derive cos theta okay i think the, i think it is not necessary to say but let's see cos theta by 2 means cos theta will be 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1 if we replace 2a with theta then if, if you send 1 to other side 2 cos square theta by 2 is equal to cos theta plus 1 so cos square theta by 2 is 1 plus cos theta by 2 cos theta by 2 means it is square root of 1 plus cos theta by 2 it is very similar to way we proved sin theta by 2 right now how can we prove for tan theta by 2 in cos theta, cos 2 or cos 2a, in cos 2a we have formula based on sin and cos but we not have based on tan, right? But some of you may understand how to prove that but it is a simple idea that is tan is nothing but sin by cos. Tan is nothing but sin by cos. So tan theta by 2 means sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 means square root of 1 minus cos theta by 2 by square root of 1 plus cos theta by 2 if you extend the square root it becomes square root of 1 minus cos theta by 2 by 1 plus cos theta by 2 2 2 cancels out so you got the formula for tan theta by 2 that is square root of 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta now let's see an example on this for understanding them well Okay, here is the question that is if cos theta is equal to cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta then prove that tan theta by 2 is plus or minus tan, theta, tan alpha by 2 into cot alpha by 2. Let's see how can we prove that. First, cos theta is cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta now what can we do let's take tan theta by 2 formula that is square root of 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta now we should simplify this substitute cos theta value and simplify this become square root of 1 minus cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta by 1 plus cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta up we have minus and in the denominator we have plus now do cross multiplication or taking lcm then it becomes 1 minus cos alpha cos beta minus of cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta and you will get 1 minus cos alpha 1 minus cos alpha cos beta plus cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 plus cos 1 minus cos alpha cos beta 1 minus cos alpha cos beta is in denominator right so we can cancel that now how can we simplify this let's see 
then it becomes square root of 1 minus cos alpha cos beta multiply cos alpha minus cos beta with minus then it becomes minus cos alpha plus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta plus cos alpha minus cos beta okay this is the numerator and denominator are somewhat same right just these negative and positive signs but we cannot cancel them you know that right now what can we do think carefully if you think carefully you may understand that you can take something common right for example if we take first and third term in the numerator then it becomes 1 minus cos alpha right and second and fourth terms what if we take plus cos beta common then it becomes cos beta into 1 minus cos alpha by in numerator 1 plus cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha and in the second and fourth terms take minus cos beta common it becomes minus cos beta into 1 plus cos alpha. Now also if you see carefully, only that positive and negative signs are different, right? But let's still simplify that. It becomes square root of, here in these two terms in numerator, take 1 minus cos alpha as common. Then it becomes 1 minus cos alpha into, here if we take off 1 minus cos alpha, 1 will be remaining. And second term, if you take off 1 minus cos alpha, you will get cos beta remaining. So, 1 plus cos beta by, in denominator, if you take 1 plus cos alpha common, in the first term, you will get 1. And in the second term, you will get minus cos beta. Now, split that square root to square root of 1 minus cos alpha by 1 plus cos alpha into square root of 1 plus cos beta by 1 minus cos beta. Now, what is this? How can we prove the question based on this? Square root of 1 minus cos alpha by 1 plus cos alpha is nothing but tan alpha by 2, right? What is square root of 1 plus cos beta by 1 minus cos beta? Here, based on first one, if you see, it is reciprocal of that, right? But beta in place of alpha. So, it is the formula for cot beta by 2 cotangent, cotangent beta by 2 and we have square roots right so we should keep plus or minus it can have values either plus or minus so tan theta by 2 is equal to plus or minus tan alpha by 2 cot beta by 2 this is how to prove them okay guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash the subscribe button ring that bell icon it not face you when it is a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video